Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick review of the OneNote application on the Surface Pro 2. I know a lot of, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me how um, how well the stylus works and how accurate and sensitive it is. And I didn't think I would use this when I bought this device, but I've been using this more than I've used anything else. I'm actually in um, college, I'm a grad student. I've been handwriting my notes and scanning them in. Now, I'm doing them on OneNote, saving them as a PDF, and I don't have to scan in documents on my slow scanner. I'm going to be reviewing the full version. I have two versions, as you can see, the full version, the installed, pre-installed version. Of course, this will um, work on all devices, whereas the full version will only work on the Pro. I like the full version, it has more features, and it lets you save to a PDF. That's a must for me. So let's go ahead and open it up. One thing I want to point out is that, let me, let me go back to the start screen. I have a screen protector installed and it does not affect the sensitivity in any way. The screen is about, an, the pen is about an inch to an inch and a half off the device and it is still registering, registering the cursor. So there are no worries with a screen protector as some people, you, you, you might have been wondering. So let me, let me go back to OneNote. Okay, this is my handwriting. This is some of the homework I've been working on. It's just very nice. You can organize it at the top to section. You can add pages. So like I have, this is the homework. And then over here I have the different sections of the homework. So there we have it. Okay, this is my handwriting. It looks just like my handwriting as it normally would do. I've added in the grid lines. It looks just like normal, normal paper. You can zoom in and out. Very handy if you're um, if you need to get inside of a line and write really small. I really like that feature. Um, also, the reason it's not doing anything, if it registers the pen, it won't, it won't pay attention to your fingers. So, let me go ahead and zoom out. Throw away the pen. Sometimes I'm holding the pen in my hand and I'll be like, why is the screen reacting to my fingers? It's because it's called, it's, it's the palm rejection. Whenever this, whenever it senses this pen, it's going to ignore everything else, which is nice, but also it can be confusing at times. So let me go ahead and do a little handwriting here for you. So you see, uh, it's, it is very fast and accurate. You've got uh, some more options up here, you know, if you want an eraser, pretty simple. So, you know, much better than a real eraser. Um, another cool feature, let me zoom out. On the side here, you have the little connector that actually connects to your device but it also clicks and I was wondering what you could use that for but if you get if you hover over the screen go back to draw if you hover over the screen and you click it lets you highlight a section of whatever you want and then you can move it around so if you uh, if you started a problem too early you want to move everything over, just highlight and move it over. I don't know how many times I've I've wrote something and then realized I left something out and then here I am erasing it and my paper looks like garbage. I don't have to do that anymore. It, it's very nice. Um, let's see here. Let me go ahead and uh, show you the... If, if you want to print this, if you want to see what it looks like to a PDF, you go up to File export you can export the page the section or the notebook when I get ready to turn this in I'm going to do the section which would be my homework and the, which contains which contain which contains all the different pages or the homework sections I'll go ahead and export the section to a PDF you have a few, few different options here export 
go ahead and select the desktop so we can view it. Homework 9, save. So there should be a few pages in there. So now there it is on the desktop. Homework 9. And there it is. I zoomed in at 200%. You can uh, zoom in to 100%. And there we have it. I, I just have two pages. Saves nicely though. Um, very. Uh, I don't guess the pinch is anymore. Yeah, it does. PDF's a little slow. Okay. Uh, one more cool feature is when you install OneNote, you get this little quick access uh, icon down here. When you click it, you have. Um, the option to do a quick note, send to OneNote, or a screen clipping. I like the screen clipping option. If you need a picture or if you have another document you want to take a picture from, you can do that. Or if you want to go to if you want to go to Internet Explorer, um, I'm not going to search for images, uh, but I'll go ahead and do a screen clip. When you do that, the screen kind of goes dull. When you get the cursor close, you can select whatever you want to. Then it gives you options. You can inst insert it. What I normally do is just copy it to the clipboard. If I go back to OneNote, okay, we'll just I want to go into a quick note, not into my homework. You can hold down. If you hold down, that's the right click. Um, Sorry, my camera keeps on losing focus. Click on the little clipboard icon. And there it is. That's the picture of Google. And just like before, if you want to move it around, hold the little button down and just circle it. It'll recognize it and you can move it on around. If you don't want it there anymore, right click and cut. So there you have it. Okay, sorry if my phone was shaking around. I that's the uh, best way I could do it and still interact and get close. Uh, but hope hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I think you'll really like this applic this application, just the pen in general. But all right, that's it. Um, leave me some feedback, like, and uh, subscribe. Thanks.